Happy Friday the 13th, my fellow observers. Today's news will be over in a flash, so eyes open. We can now look past this moderate quake watch to a severe one coming next. Got amazing volcano footage, and Hubble and Chandra deliver some spooky images right on time for today. We hit the top weather stories as well, but we're starting with spaceweathernews.com, and the only thing one can really take note of is that the northern dark coronal hole has Titanic syndrome. There was a whole lot more to that iceberg than we could see. It's coming around the limb at the left side now. Before we discuss that, solar flaring remains atrocious. The sunspots have made no movement indicative of an uptick on our doorstep, and the only magnetic mixing potential we can really see is departing up north right about where he fired the M6 blast last month. The solar wind is slowing and offering some density bunches. We'll remain calm for another two days until we may get the stream from that northern coronal hole. As we know, this current quake watch is moderate with the coronal hole not touching the equator, but look at that backside swinging in trans-equatorially. Our sunspot coverage score peaked yesterday as well, and we are at the highest electron fluence of the last year. The capacitor is charging up. While this moderate quake watch has seen only moderate quakes, the Turrialba volcano in Costa Rica couldn't hold his breath any longer. Molten rock and fire could be seen, but the real story with this eruption was the ash. It covered the local area, and seen in infrared, presents one of the most incredible videos of our natural world that I've ever seen. We'll take a moment to watch a bit of this. The movement, so fractal in nature, and you can just tell how much energy is involved with the process. After nearly enveloping the camera, the ash and smoke begins to fade. What a great show. Hubble with a great show as well. This is a jet spinning with Comet Linear. Very interesting. Chandra though, wow, even moving at unthinkably fast speeds, I am shocked at how much movement we see in this Nova over just 15 years. That's pretty cool. Both are linked for you below. We've got twin systems on alert in the Indian Ocean, one north of the equator, one south, which is why the low pressure cells are spinning in opposite directions. A major cooldown is coming to the United States here soon. Pressure cells are going to set up a reinforced drive out of the Arctic, and that will be completely set in by the weekend. Even the jet stream is getting involved as a nice flatter flow will break and block and help drive down that frigid air. Folks, we've had new Deeper Look episodes four days in a row now. Going to try to make it five before capping with Fly on the Wall tomorrow. Head on over to suspiciousobservers.org. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll go across the pond, and since it's a lighter day down under, we'll go to the southwestern hemisphere from there. Also got shots of our star to close. It's 3.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.